she and trying to get tea from us or give us tea? Both. Oh, okay. Both. And so you guys sit down. She goes, what in the world is happening in Florentine? And how did you guys get here so fast? What is going on? We're hearing that Florentine is in shambles. Someone's spreading false rumors about Prince Harold, about courting Saris, Alistarina, which being an elf, you know, noble bloodline, there's a theory. You're never supposed to really mix that, but... Mm. No, they're just, you know. they're just rumors, and we have yeah. some idea who put them out, but we can't say. Goodness. It could be bad if we say. Oh, Yeah, it I could mean, be worse than what we're dealing with right now. I mean, Hamlet showed up yesterday, I very fast as well, but he seemed fine, and essentially he had no idea what was going on, according to him. Uh -huh. And apparently, Harold's now missing. Prince Harold is now missing, and he can't be seen. He hasn't been seen since last night, apparently. And it's just, it is wild here. The royal families, they all want him dead. The queen's been talking to a dress of gillies. It's been very bizarre. I am worried for Sorry. her. Normally, she is very what? normal and herself, but she's been locked in a room or in the garden, just petting this dress of gillies of when she was a child and just it's unhinged everything's unhinged what is going on everything maybe, is falling apart could you maybe explain <laughs> that a little more what you mean perhaps a dress oh no the queen yeah yeah, yeah. What, what's up miles a dress literally just an actual dress that she used to wear as a child when did this start oh, what this started yesterday i think She's been locked in her room most of today when we got word of everything that happened, which we found out in the morning that something was going on. We got this letter saying, you know, uh, everything about Harold and Saris and everything about Prince Harold and Saris. And, and she's just like losing it. She's like, oh, my God, what is happening? Well, and so well, she is just you know clearly... I just gotta say, maybe maybe, the, maybe she has some important matters to address. Hey, 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 but do Thank you, thank but, you. But, so essentially <laughs> the queen was sent to her room Dude. and has just been locked in there and or visiting the gardens. She's had guards on her constantly. The king wants nothing to do with her. And anytime I try to talk to her and figure out how she's doing, all she says is she has to allow the king to do his job and she has no say in the matter. And I'm worried for her because now she had an ill-ridden son who seems, which is great, the death of her daughter, and now having to essentially execute her oldest son, or at least leave that in the hands of her husband, which is the king. It's awful. I wish we execute. could just go back to four years ago. I do. This is insanity. Why such drastic mm. measures? Well... And she kind of looks at you with wide eyes. She goes, he's flirting with an elf. We're slaves. You can't do that. I, I do that. You know I do that. You're not royal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is she going to be starting probably tomorrow. But Harold still is. Prince Harold is still Prince Harold. Yeah. Possible and next king. As, and as much as I hate to tote on the powers that be, who is anyone to tell the king what to do? King's a king. Prince is a prince. Everyone else, as we saw in Cyrus's country, is everyone else. And much like you say, if the king goes to such lengths, or his wife does, without directly doing anything to them, we will find a way around this. Our group somehow finds a way to survive, and we'll make sure this time we make the sun survive. They say a strong king bends the nobles to his will. I believe in our king to show his strength in these matters. Oh. And if he doesn't, and if he starts bending, then... Uh, never mind, I probably shouldn't say that in the castle. Yeah, you really shouldn't have even begun that thought. <laughs> At 
the end of the day, none of us have a say in what's going to happen to Prince Harold. And we I won't fear. Let it My goodness, this is crazy. It is so late. The sun will be up soon. I need to go to bed. Yeah, we have a uh, we have heard of Harold having made it out of Florentine alive and well. So there is a that at least. If that puts your mind at ease at all. Yes and no. But thank you. If she like just kind of like puts her hand on your shoulder. Thank you. But it doesn't make me feel any better. Right. Well, we're not important diplomats, so we can't attend the party upstairs. Um, downstairs, but downstairs, no, you sorry. can't. Now, 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 out of character, technically speaking, Miles, yeah. Miles has some abilities to, some connections uh, <laughs> that may permit otherwise, you know. I, I don't know how to, like, really... Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna do that here because I'd be too conspicuous, but I definitely could. Real quick, out of character too, just saying, it is amazing that we're allowed anywhere within, like, a mile of the castle because we <laughs> failed to sleep. And if I don't... If I'm remembering right, we were supposed to accompany... Harold on this trip and we went to figure out something instead. But yeah. the, the king would know. They like us. Oh god, are we even... <laughs> We'll never know. <laughs> we'll never know. But she so she just kind of winds down and she goes, I think I'm gonna go to bed and I think you all should as well if you can. Um, if you need anything, you know I'm here for you all. And, um, yeah. I think that's, that's everything that I know. Okay. Uh, it's been wild here. Would it really be such a bad idea to ride out and meet Harold and let him know of the state of things at the castle so he's not just coming in blind? I'm all for this idea. If we know where to go to intercept him. I'm sure eventually he'll be taking a more or less established road once he gets far enough from Florentine. If and we, and we know the direction he was headed one outside of Florentine, so if we have a look at the map, we might be able to piece it together. At least close enough for some sort of locate creature spell. I mean, are you guys, you have some weight in things. Are you not able to, you know, help out in any way? I mean, clearly you can't talk to the king, uh, but the all right, queen I might can... have. You know what? I'm willing to throw some weight around. I'm willing to uh, pull up some documents and... Let's not kill anyone, please. No, that's not, that's not... <laughs> have I ever killed anyone? Come on, Martha. No, of course I haven't. I'm a good person. No, I just have some connections that have served me in the past, you know? Yeah? Uh -huh. Like who? Hold on, hold on, I have this written down. If you, if you remember, I had, um, I had a cousin, Count Biscoff, who, yes. who, when we were having our trial, he, um, spoke on our behalf. Uh, well, at least he sent a letter. Uh, he could probably talk at this meeting a little bit, probably, right? Um, I mean, possibly, but the king's been calling people in, so it's not really a scheduled ordeal, but mm -hmm. I can definitely see what I can do to get you in there as Count Biscoff, or at least try to get not a hold get of me him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, I'm not being that transparent with her. She's like, I'll see what I can do. Probably tomorrow morning, though. I recommend getting ready. You guys have traveled a day's worth in hours. Just, how did you guys get here? We have connections. <laughs> and she's kind of puzzly, looks at the room, and she goes, if you all are okay with it. And she just kind of and closes the door. 